Hey lovely humans, and welcome back for another video. Obviously you have seen the title of the video. I am starting my own business. And it's really exciting, but really terrifying. And I guess I just wanted to sit down and chat to you about the process, what's happening. Obviously if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't have seen that I have like put it out public. It's not released yet officially, but it is in the public so people see it, it's there. I will of course tag the Instagram down below. It's Hosea Paro is the name. I like to call it Hosea most of the time, but yeah, it's out there. I'm starting a clothing brand. But yeah, I just thought I'd come on and I would just chat you guys through basically the whole thing and um, kind of like when it started, the process I've gone through, then kind of the mission behind the brand and what we're gonna be doing. Um, which partly I don't madly know. Obviously, if you head over to the Instagram, that will, will be where like the majority of just everything about the brand will be. Obviously, I will be also starting up a website shortly. It is in the process, it's just not quite finished, but it will be up pretty soon. So, get excited for that. I'll also link that down below once it's ready. But yeah, um, welcome back guys. We're here for like a chit chat. I'm going to put a few clips now of like just random like fun moments throughout the beginning of the process. Um, I don't know how many there are to be honest, but I'm gonna put them now um, in some sort of order. Hopefully, hopefully it'll all make sense. Um, and you can kind of see some of the, the fun kind of parts of the process. Des, what's happening? I'm registering my business. Project X. Project X. Is this the first recording of anything? Yeah. It is actually. Alright, talk to me. Uh, so guys. Where did it about, start? What, well, a week ago? We can... Uh, no, you have to talk about ago? like, this is, This has been a, a dream of my, a passion project of mine forever. But the conversation just kicked off. Right. No, Darren just mentioned something to me like, I'm gonna say like two weeks ago. And he randomly mentioned it and I was just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, just starting, starting a business. You know, and I was like, actually, that'd be class. I'm not per se sure if I like had per se thought about it before. Right. But then I don't think I had I hadn't thought about it before. If that makes sense. It wasn't not on the. Yeah. And so I kind of undenied about it. it. Took about a week to think about it really properly. And then I kind of am just diving right on in. It's called Hosea. Why Hosea? What do you guys think? Well, the name Hosea means to to help. Which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. <laughs> cool. well, I suppose as that a business, will get much better. As a business, um, I wanted to, well, I wanted to help people to some degree as well. But I think something that's important to me is specifically like self worth and stuff within like specifically like teenagers, but I think also within like women in general. Um, so, and I think the fashion industry specifically really um, plays into that negatively and so I suppose I want a fashion brand to actually be playing into that more positively and yeah. So I'm literally registering it right now. What date like, is it? What day is it? Today is the 15th of March 2021. Dev is registering her business. This is a big moment. Yeah, what are you doing, this entrepreneur in your pajamas? I am signing the registration of my business name. Right, do it. Oh my gosh, that's like so pathetically done. Three words, how do you feel? That was the crappy signature I've ever done. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Guys, or whoever, or myself, I don't know what I'm making this video for. I am about to put in an order for my tags, my stickers, and my little cards you get when you get your orders. I'm really excited, but also kind of terrified. <laughs> I'm putting in my order. It is the 18th of May, and I'm ordering the first proper purchases for Hosea I am ordering today. Actually, that's not true. I have ordered my samples for some of the items already, but I haven't had to pay for that yet, so. Oh, that's a bit cheeky. 
They add tax on after. That is very cheeky. First payment ever. Pay now. Come on, button. Yes, thank you for your order. Yes, I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it. No going back now, eh? So I'm gonna start right from the beginning, um, right from the first day I even thought about anything. Um, I don't remember the date, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure what date it was. It was sometime in, I mean, like I'm gonna say like the beginning of the year, right at the beginning of the year, probably nearly eight months ago nearly. Um, Darren and I were chatting and we were just talking about like starting businesses and like I don't know wh where the conversation came from, but we were just chatting about it and I think Darren, Darren kind of was just like, is that something you want to do though? Because like, though I think the way I was talking about it, it must have seemed like it was something that I was excited about the idea of. And I think then I kind of like, to be fair, I don't think I even realized it was necessarily something I wanted to do until Darren almost asked me, like, is that something you want to do? And I was like, Flip, yeah, I actually really do. Like, I actually really want to do that. Like, I want to have a go at starting a business. I really want to have a clothing brand. Like, the world of fashion, it really excites me. I absolutely love it. Like, I get so much joy from it like just all things fashion and just everything like that I just absolutely love I have such a passion for it. um so I was like why the flip not like why not <laughs> and literally it was just like that like it wasn't like obviously I thought about it for a while after that but I think I kind of just decided on that night like I'm doing this and that was that was literally that like it was so weird like although I feel like I to a degree I can be that kind of person sometimes I can kind of just decide I'm doing something and that's that but it was very strong, like it was something that I don't think I realized really what I was getting myself into. Um, but then I basically like started to kind of do research, look around, see actually what it really meant. Um, being the person that I am, I'm a bit of, a, little bit, I'm a, bit of a perfectionist. Um, I like things to be really great. I like them to be high quality, um, which can be really hard when you're starting from scratch. You're starting from small, you're starting from not a lot of money not a lot of money um so that was hard because I was like I can't do this to the level I want to do this if that makes sense like I can't just start from huge do you know and I'm and perfect and polished you know like I was like I can only do what I can do with what I have um so yeah so that was a process obviously I was looking at manufacturers I was searching things I knew one thing I knew from the start the very start was I wanted it to be a sustainable um, brand not because I am the perfect sustainable queen because we all know I am not I love Zara I'm, I love Zara and they're far 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 from a sustainable um, but I just knew that starting a new brand I didn't want that new brand to be having a negative impact on the earth um, and I think like that was just that and I was just like that's what I want and I knew that from the start and so I was like that's fine so I have that like to base stuff off and like I knew I knew then that like that was the only type of manufacturers I was searching for that was the only type of anything I was looking for packaging all that kind of stuff so in some ways that actually made it really easy because then I knew what I was looking for um I think so in some ways like choosing what products I wanted to do for my first products that was really difficult and I was just like I just didn't know where to start? I was like, I don't want it just to be a loungewear company, but I don't want it just to be this. But like, it's really hard to start from, I don't know, shirts. It's like, there's certain things that are a little bit harder to start off with. Um, especially like, I'm not personally like a fashion designer. Like I can't just create clothes um, from hand. Like I don't have those skills. And um, so that was, that was hard. And it was just really hard to work out, like all that kind of stuff. So I realize I'm not giving any specific details here because I feel like most of you probably won't want it. Um, but I'm kind of giving the general story. I hope that's okay. What I've eventually found was the name. Um, I was between a good few names for a while. I just couldn't decide on one. And then I was actually literally just in bed. I was just lying in bed. I was trying to go to sleep, but I was, this was all on my mind. And when I'm excited about things, it just is on my mind. Excited or stressed, it's always on my mind. Just as I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, but yeah, I was trying to go to sleep and I was just thinking about names and I was just like, ooh. And then suddenly, I don't know why, but for some reason, Hosea came into my head. And I was just like, it sounds perfect. And I was just like, I just love it. It's like simple. 
is kind of unique like I don't know like I don't really know anyone even called Hosea let alone like any companies called Hosea and I just thought it was a really unique name um and so I just loved it from the get-go to be fair then I looked up what it meant because for me what it means is really important to me and when I looked up what the what the name Hosea means it means to help and I was like oh my gosh I actually got a little bit emotional because that was another thing. So I knew I wanted to be sustainable, but another thing I knew I wanted to do was to do something like good in the world. Like I wanted it to have a positive impact um, in some way. And not necessarily that like the clothes are gonna change your life, but of course they will. <laughs> um, but I wanted it to have like a mission, something that I was aiming to do, um, aiming to be like within the world, if that makes sense. Um, so to be fair, I kind of was like unsure how to put it into words for a while. Um, of what the mission was but to be fair I kind of knew what the mission was pretty fast because there's only really one area that was really um, close to my heart um, and an area that like I knew would be the one that I wanted to support and be the thing like the mission of the company. So the mission of Hosea is to support young people's self-worth and um, to support their value to support their value in themselves like basically just value and self-worth and that's like our thing and obviously there's such broad broad topics and there's so many so many factors which go into it which is why I feel like it is also a good focus point for our company because I know myself from experience not per se like my own experience of me but more experience that I've had walking alongside young people that I know and love dearly um that like self-worth was like such a huge part within their struggles gosh i'm getting emotional why am i getting emotional <laughs> um like i know although like of course mental health is like a hugely important thing that like that self-worth isn't like just having self-worth doesn't mean you're not going to have any mental health issues but i think there are so many people that if their self-worth and their value that they they knew they knew that they had value and they knew that they had worth and knowing that was stronger within them, I think a lot of the struggles they may have had within especially their teenage years would have been so much less because they would have like believed in the amazing person that they were or are, I should say. Um, oh gosh, why am I getting emotional? This is so weird. Um, so yeah, well, I suppose it's because it's important to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, for that reason, I just knew I was like, that's like, that's 100% what I want to be supporting. I want to be backing every young person I know. And of course, I know that it's not just young people that struggle with their self worth. It's all of us. But I think teenage years are the. It's really the time where you start to be aware of yourself. If that makes sense, like you really start to notice yourself in comparison to other people. You notice what you do, and you start to really judge yourself, and you start to be hard on yourself in your teenage years. And also, being a teenager is so flipping hard. Like, I would never want to go back to those years. Like, I feel like as a teenager, I had it pretty easy. But it was it's a hard time, like, for, t for people. And I feel like it's, like, such a core time to have that, like, self-worth and that value, that self-value. Um, to really, like, it to be really, like, developed and, like, like, really just protected because it's so important. Um... Anyway, that's a big old babble. So that's basically what our, our mission is. Um, as a company, we'll be donating to um, charities that do that. So one would be Pieta House, which is an Irish charity that supports young people um, with mental health issues. So um, specifically um, suicidal thoughts and self-harm. And then we will also be supporting the Big Brother Big Sister program within Faroga, which is another Irish um um, charity organization the big brother big sister program basically gets young people a basically a big brother or a big sister and um, someone basically to walk alongside them and um, just day-to-day -day life just be there to support them to be that amazing role model in their lives and um, to be someone to basically let them know that they do have worth they do have value and they're important and they like there's there's worth to their life basically and um, so I think they're both just amazing amazing charities that are doing just amazing things to support young people and 
Um, so yeah, there will be the charities we'll be supporting for the foreseeable future anyway. So yeah, I feel like I've said um a really lot of times <laughs> in the last couple sentences. Okay, so I suppose now that you kind of know where Jose started from and you know kind of what our mission is as a company, I thought it would be good to actually show you the products we're going to be releasing. So our first collection is a really, really small collection. Um, and for a number of reasons, obviously partly because it's a first startup, it's a new small business. I don't know the finance to do much bigger. Um, so there will be only a few items and also um, only a small amount of stock in each item. But there is quite a good varying amount of sizes. We go from extra small to extra large um, in our sweatshirts. The bags are obviously completely versatile size wise. And then the shorts we actually have extra small to extra extra large. Um, so we have a good size variety there which is great. But yeah, let me show you the first item. So the first item I'm going to show you is the bag. So this is the bag, and um, let me just show you the whole wide one, so that is it there. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous, I absolutely love these bags. They have this beautiful, um, it's, like, it's kind of like a natural raw kind of colour, a very like classic kind of tote style bag, really really beautiful. And it says Hosea Apparel, established 2021 over the front, so these are about I think they're about 49 centimeters wide. So they are quite a big bag, which I love personally. I think they're absolutely amazing um, because they're just so versatile and they just carry so much. But they also kind of got that really lovely kind of slouchy look. Like this, this is obviously currently empty, but when this stuff in it, it's just got a really lovely kind of slouchy look. The strap length is just absolutely perfect. It just sits on the shoulder so nicely. And I'm actually not even saying that, but like, well, obviously I am saying it, but I'm not just saying it just to say it like genuinely like it's just the handiest one Even if it's heavy, it just sits really nicely and just kind of stays there fly go the flip away It just sits so nice on the shoulder and I just absolutely love it. It's really lovely quality This one is 80% recycled cotton and 80% Recycled polyester absolutely love them. I had one of the samples that I got when I was doing the samples and everything and I literally wore it most days like all the time really really love it it just goes with so many like so many types of outfits it's so casual it's so lovely for the summertime as well like perfect for a beach day perfect for like an airport trip now that we can do it perfect for like a work day if you're like someone who goes and shoots photos and stuff perfect for just like getting loads of stuff in there and perfect for if you need like a change of clothes for something like a really lovely overnight bag oh it's just brilliant i use it all the time um, and it's just amazing and it's also like it can take so much weight. It's so good Like there's been times I've literally put all of my cosmetics in there and it was impressive That's what I'll say. So the next up we have our sweatshirt. So this is a size small um, Of the sweatshirt So I would commonly be a size 8 if you watch my videos You'll know I'm a UK size 8 and I would probably go for the small the small for kind of like a standards fit and um, I will actually also be doing a sizing video of everything for the next week's video so that will come out just before we go live on Jose Apparel and um, so you guys will be able to see what the size is like so you can know what size would suit you best but I'm UK size 8 usually and I would kind of wear a small for like a kind of standard fit and sweatshirt like it's they are oversized fit and um, but for one that's kind of like it's loose but it's not like hanging down of your bum or something it's literally just kind of oversized but like will tuck nicely into your jeans and kind of like maybe sits up kind of just over your hip kind of length I'm gonna say. So we just have the logoing on just the left side and it's really lovely. We've got kind of like a lovely ribbed crew neck and then lovely ribbed um, cuffs as well and the same on the bottom as well and um, just like a ribbed cuff there. These are just such gorgeous quality. They're so soft and um, again 80% cotton I think it's organic cotton and then 80% recycled polyester, I'm pretty sure, is the mix of this one. And that's the same with the shorts as well, which I'm going to show you next. I absolutely love this. So Darren would wear either medium or large and Darren would be like 5'11". He's fairly built and would be like, he'd wear like a 33 waist on his on his trousers kind of if that helps so all the line is unisex I realized I hadn't mentioned that yet so the whole line is unisex so it can be bought for men or women which is amazing and that's kind of the variation within the shorts is to help kind of facilitate it for both I absolutely love the jumpers like I'm gonna be wearing that sweatshirt 
all winter long and to be fair all e summer evenings long as well okay so next up then is the shorts so i'm going to show you sorry darren is wearing these already so they're a bit fluffy um so these are the sweat shorts so these are the ones with the full cuff on them or the full hem whatever you want to call it so we have the hosea logoing on the left hand pocket and it's just lovely lovely pockets fairly deep like maybe not the deepest like we'll be adapting that for future lines don't you worry don't you worry and then we've got like a lovely drawstring um on the front with a metal whatever you call that on the end there and um, yeah and they're just really lovely so that's the medium ones those that's the size medium so that would be the size darren wears um again so again he's a 33 inch on in trousers but that's obviously for men's I myself would wear a size small, and this is the hemmed version, um, which is lovely. Sorry, not the hem, the raw hem, should I say. These of us have been worn, so they are, so making them. Um, I dropped on the floor, and our floors are really dirty, so <laughs> they get very fluffy. Um, so yeah, these are the raw hem, so it's obviously just kind of like a raw cut off hem, which I think is lovely. It makes them a little bit shorter than the other ones, which I think is also really nice because um, I prefer them slightly on the shorter side and um, so that's kind of what I would personally prefer to wear than the longer ones I wear a size small and they fit lovely um, again the same it's like they're exactly the same as the other ones just on uh, the shorter hem so again I'm a UK size 8 usually and I would wear a size small um, which I think fits perfectly to be fair I probably could go up to medium as well maybe for the for the um, raw hem ones too for like a much baggier look but I think obviously then the um, waistline just gets kind of wider which is obviously not always ideal um, but yeah really love them they also actually also have a back pocket on them too which again has hair and fluff and dirt from the ground all over them nice and dead um, literally oh my gosh I should have got a clean pair um, but yes yeah, so they're really nice as well and really love them like they're just so comfy again these are the same composition as the sweatshirts so 80 percent organic cotton and and um, 20 percent recycled polyester and they're just so lovely super comfy just they're just a lovely set like they're such a lovely kind of summer set but then also will be really nice going into the autumn time obviously depending where you are summering at the moment maybe not summering but most of summer in Ireland you could definitely get away with wearing this set so lovely I love it with like um like just like a high sock and a trainer but I also would love like you take the sweatshirt off like have just like a little kind of like just a little tank top under and then just have your jumper over the shoulders and have a wee Birkenstock on Oh, so nice. Of course, your tote bag as well. Don't forget, don't forget. And I just love it. I just think they're so lovely, so comfortable, and just so easy to wear and so easy to like style around. Obviously, sweatshirt, super easy to style different ways. Like it's a simple black sweatshirt. Like it's such a, like a staple for your wardrobe. Like it's just perfect. I've also worn these during sport and they're super comfortable. And um, I've done play tennis in them and they're just really comfortable, just really handy. And um, just a really kind of casual, comfy, Especially if you like the kind of slightly longer short vibe, which I'm a little bit more into as well. And um, so yeah, they are perfect. All right, so they are all obviously the line for our first collection. I really hope you guys like them. Um, we will be releasing on the 31st of July. So that's literally a week from the day you see this video if you're watching this on Saturday. Um, so it's very exciting and I really hope you guys will log on and do some shopping. So I think even just talking about like future for the line, obviously would love, love, love to hear you guys and um, just hear what you guys would like to see, like what kind of items would you like And um, as part of Hosea. Obviously I've kind of started with something really simple and just classic, something that everyone kind of would like some aspect of, um, but obviously I would love to develop it into um, other areas. Um, I personally not gonna, I'm probably not gonna stay in just like sweats and stuff, like I definitely would love to move into things like shirts and even maybe jeans and like just a huge variety of things and have a huge variety of items, but we'll see what you guys like and what kind of works what I can obviously get with manufacturers and those kind of things as well because that can be sometimes a challenge but yeah let me know what you guys think what you would like to see all those kind of things I really hope this was like helpful to like I suppose give you like a little bit more of an insight into Hosea and our mission and um, just where kind of it came from where it sparked from but yeah I'm really excited it was actually so terrifying telling everyone about this like it was I kind of catch up to myself for a very long time and it's just it's really scary putting yourself out there like that and 
it's well like this I guess as well um it's just scary when you're kind of go for something and it's scary when you think you could fail because you could I could fail it could crash and burn you could all hate it <laughs> but I really hope you guys like it and I guess that's probably all and um, if you have any questions at all I'll definitely be doing a QA and a over on Jose Apparel but please put any questions you have down in the question box or else of course or sorry in the comments rather should I say question box um, or else send me a message on Instagram or else on Jose Apparel as well and yeah guys I will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week for the sizing guide and um, for these items and at the actual sale of course too See you soon. Bye.